Hey guys, it's Jesse and Clint here with Vertec, and today we're gonna to talk about how to properly plug in your CPT cable and why it's so important. Okay, so today we're gonna to show you how to successfully install your CPT cable, a bit of prep involved, and how to not spin your limo harness. Yep. So the first step, guys, is to double check your O-ring to make sure that it's clear and clean of debris. And then after that, make sure we put a little lubrication on that O-ring. And you're gonna take your CPT cable, install it in the back of your cone. And then before you slide this nut down, you're gonna wanna fill it with some waterproof grease. Slide the nut down, snug it up, and then just take a wrench and just give it a little extra to keep it tight. Yeah, so that's super important to make sure that you don't get any water or moisture inside your cone. A lot of times if you pull your cone back out and you find any moisture in it, it's due to this connection point right here. So what happens is if there's a little bit of grit or something on the O-ring, it'll allow water or moisture to pass through. So it's super important to make sure that that O-ring is you know, good and clean, lubricated, and this nut's uh, nice and tight. The next thing that we wanna talk about is how to not spin your limo harness. If you're not familiar with the limo harness, it's a little connection point inside the cone here that basically connects the electronics with your CBT cable. So what happens is, People will call us up saying they lost communication. They send the cone back to us and we find that the connection point here has been twisted and we're gonna show you how that happens. So if Clint were to spin the cone, instead of me spinning a rod or adapter, you can see the uh, cone cable here start to torque. What'll happen is that will torque so much that it'll actually turn the connection inside and rip the wires off. So the best thing to do is Clint hold the cone stationary and I'm gonna thread on any connection, whether it's any of your rods or your adapter onto the cone. If you do that, you'll be successful and have no problems. So that's your pro tip for the day. We'll see you at the next video.